Good afternoon. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Now, before we get into this edition of Friday's Finds, click the howdy button. Say howdy down there. Tell me why you watch this silly show I produce. All right, let's get into it. I got five products this week. Let's open a box. This is from Sonamoy, Son, Sonamoy, Sonamoy, Sonamoy. They know I got older, I've got aging eyes. So they have sent us Something to help with aging eyes. It's a set of three sunglasses. But wait, they're not just sunglasses. They are actually bifocal reader glasses. Let's see if we can step out here and take a look. So you can see we're, we're bifocal. These are... 2.0 Y'all don't be looking down there. You're getting ahead of me. But I like this. I like this a lot up here It's it's just normal And then you got the reader part right down here. I don't have to carry my readers hanging on my shirt and Find a place to put my sunglasses That's pretty that's pretty handy right there Yeah, I like that Put one in the truck, one in the car, and one in the RV. And I got all three bases covered. And the and it comes with and included cleaning cloth and a suede scratch preventers. There you go. And there's three of them in three different colors. I like that one, blue and green. Of course, I like the red ones too. And then we have gray and black. Wait, wait, it comes with, they come with lanyards too. Let's see, let's see if we can give you a good demo of what that looks like. We are right up on there. Of course, we don't have any sun right now, but you get the idea. When you look at it from that point, you can see it there. These are these are twos. Look at it. Moving right along. This is going to be a fun one. This comes to us from Sakovi. Sakovi. This is this. Oh, you can't see. You were looking at the top of my head. This is a net, a light net, lighting net. How do we? How do we undo this? Oh, there it is. Okay. This one's going to be fun in the dark. April. This is this is right up April's alley. That didn't sound so good. This is perfect for for April. Okay, let me string this up so we get a better better idea how big it is. I'll be back. There it is. It's pretty well constructed. I wouldn't I wouldn't try catching fish with it, but it definitely works for this. Maybe I need to stretch it out up there or something but we'll take it out after dark see what it looks like okay now we move on to some big boxes 
I gotta clear off the table. Time to open a big box. I'm not sure who sent this to me. V4, tough tools, half price. An electric single plate mini pancake maker. I don't know what that means. They're Dutch, it's a Dutch dish. Comes with an accessory kit. Yeah, let's just open it up and look at the, what's in this box? That's what, that's what this video is all about. What's in this box? We got some scrubby pads. Have a cute little tong set. We've got brush and whisk. And another brush to go with the other brush. I hope it comes with instructions on how to make it. Interesting. This is a Vivor product. Thanks, Vivor. Vivor, tough tools, half price. So it is an electric cooktop. And it looks, I think they're like cookies. And this has got instructions on it, so let me read some instructions. We're gonna have to get Yappy involved with this because I bet they're not carnivore friendly. That's right, I'm carnivore now. I, I, I don't eat grains or seed oil or too much of vegetable matter. I like beef. Maybe there's something I can cook on here that's, that's carnivore. I don't know, let me read the instructions. Regardless, we're gonna make some mini pancakes. Let's open a big box. When I told Yappy about this, she said, well, I don't know if we need that right now, but we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it soon. But right now, we don't need it at all. This is a towel warmer. The Vivor towel warmer. Vivor, tough tools, half price. If you're swimming, you got a pool, sauna, hot tub, and you don't want cold towels. Let me educate myself on this. We will. We'll learn, we'll, we'll learn all about it, and I'll come back and discuss when I can discuss intelligently. This looks fun. We need to open another box, a big box. This is one that uh, I think everybody that watches this channel is gonna be excited about. This is, this is a must have necessity for your RV adventures. This even comes with some accessories. We got a sleep, sleeping mask and earplugs. The V4 Zero Gravity Chair. Woohoo! Yappy gonna like that. And it comes with like that. Ah, regular chair. You lock that in place so you can get up and down when you're ready to re recline. Just like that. Woo, this is pretty dang cool. I see why they gave you the mask. This would be great for watching like an eclipse or staring at the stars. I like this. Good to get Yappy's input on this one. And it folds pretty fast too. So their total is probably four and a half, maybe five inches. 
let's compare it to the chairs that I, I normally roll with. A, a little bit of a difference, not too much. That will actually fit in the pass-through compartment over there. That means we can take that with us. So if she wants that, then she gets to keep that. <laughs> Need to move it to a different locale. It's kind of cool. Tomorrow I'm going to put it up there. Best wind view from this angle right now. I have never heard of poferties, but it looks like the recipe is pretty simple. And of course we're going to do the, the Vivor Poferty Cookery. I went out and found an easy way to do it. This is a pre-mix recipe. All you gotta do is add some milk and this is actually available on Amazon. And I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. It takes a, a little bit of milk, a couple of eggs, and some oil and a cooker. So I got it all mixed up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna grease the pan with some butter. And then I'm gonna put the batter in here and cut a corner off. So it'll be a little easier to put in the thing. Got a bag full of batter, preheated, pan 250 degrees. It might need to be a little hotter, I don't know. There's two controls, two different cooking surfaces. All right, we are ready. It came with, the kit came with this little set of tongs. I maybe didn't get it hot enough. Should heat up pretty quick though. They're poofing up. The pooferies, I guess that's why they call them pooferies, pooferies. These are a yeast bread. So they actually have yeast in the mixture that causes it to poof up, to get fluffy. So we have Two different sides and two different burner controls. A timer on both sides. Take a little little practice to be able to flip these quickly. So if you've ever made these, post a post a comment down there and tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I could be doing better. Give us some insider tips on making poofery, poof, pooferies. Round one is done. Well, not quite done, but we're close. Now that I've got the, the cooker is much hotter, we'll do the rest of this batter. Just like that, we're done. Pooferies. I'm a carnivore. I, I, I have a severe uh, grain allergy. Can't eat any grain at all. So I can't eat these. As soon as Yappy gets off the phone, we'll have her eat some and tell us what we what she thinks about them.
I think those lights are really cool. I think they would make a great decoration for your patio or your campsite like we've done here or even if you're you know traveling the state parks during the holiday season easy way to decorate your campsite for the holidays i think it'll make a great gift and as a matter of fact i have someone in mind that i'm going to gift gift one of these to we like it all right i know you'll like it too let's let's talk about a towel warmer <laughs> so we we found a use for the vivor towel warmer that vivor probably never expected our our dogs are nuts about towels and blankets fresh out of the dryer they love a hot blanket and a hot towel well since we're living in the motor home and the dryer's stored in the storage facility we have found that a little bit of time in here with a dog blanket and we have some really happy pups and i like it too i like having it so that when i get out of the the hot tub and a cold shower i've got a warm towel and yappy she was she felt kind of spoiled last night uh with a warm towel after the shower as well so we're liking the vivor this would be great if you had a massage business or you were even a chiropractor and you wanted to keep some warm towels to, to help you know when people come out of traction and whatnot a nice warm towel to make them feel special i like it i think it's a pretty good value and we've got to get some feedback yappy's got to tell us how those waffles were she, she was eating them for breakfast this morning uh, i found the equipment to be really easy to work with i mean it's real simple you got to get it hot and pay attention but it's, it's like making pancakes. Uh, so if you've got a small food business, food serving business, coffee shop, this might be a nice addition for your coffee drinkers as a easy to go breakfast. You could you can make these and put them in the, the freezer for the kids. So many things you can do with your Vivor puff, Puffles, Puffles maker, if I'm not saying that right. Please, please let me know down in the comments because I've never, I'd never even heard of them. Let's go ask Gappy what she thought of them. She's about to go to sleep. We better get, get the questions in now. Gappy, what do you think about the Vivor Zero Gravity Recliner? It is very comfortable. We're being bums here on a Saturday. It got cushion and it also has, or if, it, if you don't want the cushion because it gets hotter. Springy. You've got springs. It, it's very comfortable. It's easy to use. It's very relaxing. Ziva's mad you're in her and chair. My dog is upset because she's not laying right here. Here's a picture of Ziva in the chair last night. All right. Now we got to find out about breakfast. So you had some, some mini pancakes for breakfast this morning. Yappy, what are, what are your thoughts on the little Vivor? Hey, it worked out great. They are little, they, it toasted them beautifully. I actually had them for breakfast with some eggs and it worked great. I mean, it's it's a great pancake maker. The pancake mix was pretty good too. Oh, oh yeah, that actually was really tasty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Yeah, it actually so, was a good mix. It was yeah. actually a, a really interesting fact that we could find that kind of mini pancake batter that's different. You got anything to say about the towel warmer? Yes, it warmed, it works and it's portable. That worked. And that's it. I mean, that's all it is. It's it, a towel warmer. It's not real high tech. It gets the job done, and it, and it warms up the puppy blankets too. That's right. And they think they get a. We towel. will be using that in winter. Thank you. They think they got a towel Vivor. straight out of the dryer. We like Vivor. They do good products. And they do so many. I know they do a lot. Thank you for your time, Yappy. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, y'all. Say Bye, goodbye. Guys. That brings us to the end of this edition of Fried Days Finds. This is the, the. <laughs> all vivor all the time <laughs> edition shouldn't have anything for vivor for a couple weeks anyway we will be skipping a couple of friday's finds episodes over the next several weeks we're going on the road baby we're gonna go see some stuff so you'll have to wait on your friday's finds fix because i can't really do that and go to 21 different campgrounds yeah it's gonna be at least 21 new campgrounds so y'all want to make sure you click on that subscribe button 
we we're going out of state we're taking a road trip that you're not gonna want to miss of course you may have already seen uh, some videos from that because I'm not sure where this video schedule wise is gonna fit in so anyway I'll worry about all that y'all just remember to click on the subscribe button tap the howdy button down there if you didn't like the video click the thumbs down twice that, that'll make everything good if you've not already subscribed i'd be most honored if you'd consider tapping that button it really helps with the youtube algorithm and for those of you who have been following along thank you so much i really appreciate it i know your time is valuable thank you for spending some with me and for our patrons we are so grateful for your generosity thank you you guys rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?